crewman. Throw a bucket of cold water over him. Wake him up, little urchin. Coming aboard my ship. Trying to steal my bounty. He's lucky all he got was a blow to the head. The little rat. There. He's coming round. Ah. My little prisoner. Feeling a bit groggy there, are we? There, there, little man. You should have known better. No man alive is going to come to my ship and make off with my treasure. Certainly not one who would live to tell the tale. <laughs> I must give you some credit, though. It was a Darren raid. Stupid. Darren? It may have succeeded, if I wasn't always one step ahead. Your crew isn't as loyal as you may think. We are pirates, after all. We bow to no king. But when it comes to coin, your man was quite a help in the end. Forewarned, the surprise arrival of your small band of ruffians, the look on your face when we ambushed you. <laughs> oh, such a blow to the head. I cannot but wonder if you remember drawing swords. Me and you, just the two of us here on board. Oh, yes. I'll give you that. You are indeed an accomplished sword fighter, as your name precedes you. But, my pretty little thing, no match against my skilled hand. Well, you were a pretty boy. But I gave your face quite a gash. Oh, it's a nasty wound. But you'll recover, I'm sure, if I give you the chance. You see, I was trained in sword fighting by my father, the fiercest pirate the high seas ever saw. I'm sure you know his name. It's still told in whispers among those old enough to remember. He taught me everything he knew. To fight, to handle this ship, and left his legacy in my skilled hands. And all of that led us to this moment, with you as my captive. <laughs> you come with quite a price on your head. It's a tempting thing. A little bonus, as it were. I wouldn't turn you in, no, but... It'd be well worth selling you for the price you command, the highest bidder on the open market. No doubt you've angered enough men. Stolen enough loot to fetch quite the coin. I wonder who'd want you most. Maybe the Cutlass Gang. It was you that sunk one of their ships off the Sandy Cove a few months back, was it not? <laughs> Even if it wasn't, they think it was. And that's what really matters. Surely they would not treat you as well as... I, as... Sympathetically as I. <laughs> Quit griping, you sound pathetic. You're a man, aren't you? Sounding like a little baby. I only doubt you blow to the head. I could have killed you. Where's my gratitude? You hear me now, boy. Coming round. Looking a little frightened. A little helpless. Don't worry. I have you tied up nice and tight. So you won't be going anywhere. Now that you're hearing me more clearly, you may be wondering what became of your men. And the other ones foolish enough to join you in your raid. I bet you're regretting it now, aren't you? If you live through this ordeal, you'll learn never to cross me again. If. Ah, yes. Your accomplices. One of your men. My men. You'll be glad to know he's back on shore, enjoying all the drink and entertainment is right and goodbye. <laughs> now three others, loyal to you. I set aboard a small sailing boat with a map of the local islands. I am nothing if not generous, so if they survive the long journey back to shore, it'll give them a chance to reconsider working for you, or attacking my ship ever again. 
My generosity is a one-time offer, after all. One of your men, though, killed a member of my crew. And that was not a wise thing to do. He left the ship with something of mine, a little present. Some rusted iron chains, so he may better acquaint himself with the ocean floor. So now you're the only member of your elite little writing party left on board. Your pride must really be hurting more than your head. After all these battles, you and me, just for you to end up on my ship like this. Ah, yes, the brave captain. Once a ruler of the high seas, feared throughout the lands. Is now sitting in my cabin all wrapped up like a little present. <laughs> Quit your struggling, there's nothing you can do. And the screaming. Who here exactly is going to save you? <laughs> you detest being my prisoner, don't you? Not heart. I'm a good person. Well-meaning girl. Just the product of my unfortunate upbringing, you see. Truly a wonder, then, that I've managed to prosper in such conditions. To climb upon my bounty of treasure to claim the title as the most feared and bloodthirsty female pirate in all the seven seas. I say all of this to let you know that, being the kind-hearted soul I am, I'm going to give you a second chance. The way you're struggling makes me think you don't want one. And you know, with a flick of my wrist, I could kill you right now this sword but I won't <laughs> here's the deal you tell me where you hid the massive bounty you stole from the British put your eyes away I know it was your crew I'm sure it's being guarded by more of your misguided accomplices probably in one of your mini enclaves but I need to know where exactly it is and I need your cooperation in getting the treasure out of their hands and on board my ship. We can sail there tomorrow, and when your band them in approach, you'll tell them to hand them over the treasure without a fight. Lest you lose your head. If I had to guess, I would say it was being held with most of your other treasure on Skull Island, am I right? Or maybe you moved it. <laughs> that panicked expression speaks for itself you need to make your choice you could tell me now where that treasure is and I'll leave you here in my cabin where you are dignity mostly intact or you may refuse in which case we will sail to Skull Island together with you tied to the mast for all to see like the pathetic little man you are. The pirate world will tell stories for years to come about the fearless captain, his humiliating subjugation. Now the choice is yours, my little prisoner. What will it be, hmm? I'll give you a moment to collect your thoughts. Your time is up. I brought a few of my men with me, just in case their assistance was required. Ah, but you do look so small now, compared to them. Little mouse in a cage. And the ropes in their hands are very useful, you see. To rig the sail as we set course to your treasure. Or to drag you up on deck and bind you as a lovely little display. A warning for any pirate who might dare to make the same mistake as you. So... Captain, what will it be? Crew, remove his gag. (laughs) 
silence, I see. So you made your choice, then. Are you sure you don't want to change your mind? Your treasure will be mine either way. With you down here in the galley, you're hoisted up high. Ah, he speaks. <laughs> well, that's no way to speak to a lady. I suppose I should warn you of the approaching storm. Hidden straight for us from the west. She'll be here in a matter of hours. You doubt me. But you felt it earlier, didn't you? Saw the clouds, angry green issue. Do you think you'll survive it up there? Feet dangling down. No way to protect yourself. And this is your last chance. What say you? <laughs> 